It's not about race. In the state of Mississippi, in the West Point Consolidated School District, a school changes ranking after black students become valedictorian and salutatorian. The valedictorian, um, Akira Washington, the salutatorian, Layla Temple. This was announced on a Monday. Three days later on a Thursday, the day of graduation, hours before the graduation, the school announces a change. This year, there will be two valedictorians and two salutatorians. <clears throat> now, the other students that just happen to be white, they will also be recognized. They have the third best and the fourth best grade averages in the class. The school says that they are bylaws that allow this to happen. This is just the first time the school has ever used it. They wanted to try something different. Now I have a clip of what the mother of the salutatorian had to say that happened. To help these two white students share the honors of valedictorian and salutatorian. Did you call the superintendent when you learned about this? What did you do? He was the one who told me. After we seen that they selected another set of Val and Sal, we went up there to the school and that's when he met with us. They was gonna let us show up to graduation and found out that they chose them two of each. But we went up to the school to the man and we wanted to know what was going on. And that's when he came up to school and met with us. And he told me himself that he, he had to make the principal add grades for the other kids. And this was done the day before graduation. Now, they said a mistake was made. So they asked the mother in the interview, how did the school become aware of this mistake? Listen to what she has to say. Um, pretty much the other kids' parents pitched a fit about their kids not being Sal and Val when they announced it on Wars Day Monday. And they cut it up and they went back and forth with the principal and the counselor. And I want to just say, there was no mistake made. At that time, yeah. our kids were in the lead with the mm -hmm. ranking and the GPA. And the QPA is the same as the GPA. But it's not about race. I'm pretty much saying that, um, that the girls should be thankful that they was allowed to share with the other students. Who told you that? Who said that to you? The superintendent. Now I'll let you hear what the salutatorian had to say about graduation. I was very sad during the graduation and also very angry for what they did. And he also allowed the other students to give their speeches before the original salutatorian and valedictorian, which is something else I didn't like. But it's not about race. It was a sense of entitlement and privilege. When asked why they thought it happened to them, the mother answered like this. Um, I pretty much feel as if the family just felt entitled and they didn't want to see our girls uh, beat their kids or whatever. They didn't want to see two black salutatory and valedictory. And they felt that this, their kids should be in, in those spots. What does the school handbook tell you about the criteria for who is a valedictory and a salutatory? Um, the student with the highest GPA. That's what it says, the highest GPA. So how do you think they made this so-called mistake? Um, it has, a, like, a class ranking, and it says that the average, the highest, what they determined by the semester 
grade average. But the semester grade average also equal the um, GPA. And the GPA is on a scale of 0 .0, 0 0.0 to 4.0. You notice the GPA is always written in a 4.0, 3.0, 2.0, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they want to use the grade, the grading scale from the 0 to 100 scale range. And after they added grades, I'm just going to use this as an example. The uh, first person was like, uh, example, 96.5. The second person was 96.4. And then Layla came in 96.2. The grades that they added gave like a 0.3 and 0.2 difference, oh my which gave them a head in class rank. <sighs> But not in GPA. As of GPA, Akira had a 4.06, and Layla had a 4.04, and the other two students was equal with a 4.02. But it's not about race. What do you think? Riding with them, they can get it too. Hit that horn two times for them, but you ain't Devin Miles. Got you running the Dr. Lee's brain when they changing up the style. Make it hard for you to breathe and everybody on your label. This hit that gangster movie when Nino stuck him to the table. Master Rod took the track on you, OB's dropped the hook. They summoned DMZ to come and leave you niggas shook. Like when you found out that Pop died.